Hello makers, I'm Joe, the 3D Maker Noob, and today I want to show you guys how to assemble your own UV curing chamber. Now, as I recently mentioned, I got myself a uh, Peopoli Moai, and it is an SLA printer. It does amazing quality prints, and yeah, I'm absolutely in love with it. However, one of the, let's call it downsides to SLA printing is the post-processing. It requires quite a bit of work, it's a bit tedious, it's a bit messy, and it also requires you to cure the resin in UV light, either in the sun or in a UV curing chamber, uh, in order to harden the resin. Now, seeing as I was unprepared, even though I knew the printer was coming, I kinda did a makeshift curing chamber, which consists of a Tupperware pot, a UV light cannon from Peopoli, two pens, or a pencil and a pen, and also some cooking foil or silver foil. Um, the idea is that you throw in the resin print inside, you put the two pens over there, and you get the UV light to kind of just sit on top of them and cure the resin itself. Now, obviously, this is unacceptable, but um, I really wanted to cure my resin prints. I was in a bit of a rush and this, well, this did the job. However, I have access to a lot of 3D printers and I simply cannot have something like this lying around here because people will come over, well, they just, you know, they just make fun of me. So for now, I'm gonna put this to the side and I'm gonna bring these parts over here. These are the 3D printed parts. Well, these are the 3D printed parts for the UV curing chamber. Then I have myself some reflective contact paper. Got myself a blade, Got myself a ruler. This this came with the um, Anet A4. It came in handy. And a pen. Now, all of these were printed in the Meta Hackers build series PLA. I got some to try out. They have some beautiful colors, and I thought this color combination actually did it quite nice. Now, a few days ago, I also received the JG Aurora A5, uh, which Banggood had sent me. Not Gearbest, Banggood. I have to say that these are quite nice prints coming out of the box. The JG Aurora A5. Excellent printer. Um, still a review, still a full review to do about that. Um, however, without tuning in absolutely anything at all, I printed this. This came out great. And I thought to myself, um, yeah, okay, we can go ahead and print the rest. So I did, and here they are. So the only thing that's left is for me to literally put these together so I can start using my UV curing chamber properly. Now the idea for this curing chamber is to simply grab this and slide it onto this piece here, right to the top where it locks in place. Locks beautifully, that's one. Next is to cover the inside with uh, reflective film and also the bottom. So once that's done, you simply put the object there, you place this on top and put the light on top of that and you have a beautiful curing chamber. The other option is if you have slightly larger parts because the uh, Peo Poly Moai does have, I think it's 180 millimeters build height. You also cover this in reflective film and you use a larger curing chamber. So I'm simply going to cut the reflective film um, according to the sizes that is given to you on uh, a PDF file which you download also from the Thingiverse files which come with these that gives you basically the measurements of what to cut. So yeah, I'm gonna cut those out and stick them on. And there you have it, and it turned out really, really good. Um, PLA colors, absolutely gorgeous. Um, fitting is perfect, so no, all I need to do is get rid of this. <laughs> so this will fit right on top of there, just like that, and that's it. So all I need to do now is simply grab my model, 
throw it here. Now the only reason why I'm grabbing this with my bare hands and no gloves is because this has already been cleaned up with ethanol and then rinsed with water and it has been curing for about probably an hour already. So yeah, once you put that on there, all done. So that is it for me guys. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please let me know in the comment section below. I will leave links to the UV light if you do need one. I know that Pale Poly has them uh, currently out of stock, but I'm sure they will get some more very soon. I will leave links to the uh, Meta Hair Curries Build Series PLA um, also in the video description below. And I will leave a few more links for you to check out. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Please like, share, subscribe, and as always, happy making guys.